So the Joker origin film, the movie that a lot of people were against when announced by DC Comics who had already a pretty rocky road in the films is generating Oscar buzz. Who would have thought? So the Joker origin film is a somewhat of an anomaly in the superhero genre movies. Usually these movies from Marvel and DC like to take inspiration from storylines from the comics such as Endgame and Flashpoint and adapt them into their universe using pre-existing characters and introducing new ones. DC Comics and Warner Brothers adventure into the Elseworld is a risky one, taking what a lot of people believe about their favorite villains and heroes and what they love about them and twisting them into something that they don't really recognize could backfire on them in a huge way. But after reading some of these early Joker reviews, I gotta say I'm more excited for the film than ever. In this video, we're going to go over some of the positive and negative reviews for the Joker origin film and try to form a general idea on how good this film is. If you want more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel. And without further delay, let's get to the Joker origin film early reviews. So first up, we have IGN who actually gave it a 10 back on Twitter. And this is what IGN had to say about the Joker origin film. Featuring a riveting, fully realized and Oscar worthy performance by Joaquin Phoenix, Joker would work just as well as an engrossing character study without any of its DC comic trappings. That it just so happens to be a brilliant Batman universe movie is icing on the Batfan cake. You will likely leave the Joker feeling like I did, unsettled and ready to debate the film for years to come. Next up we have THR who speaks about the insanity in the Joker origin film along with Phoenix's performance. This is Phoenix's film and he inhabits it with an insanity by turning pitiful and fearsome in and out of their performances that's no laughing matter. Not to discredit the imaginative vision of the writer-director, his co-scripter and invaluable tech and design teams, but Phoenix is the prime force that makes Joker such a distinctly edgy entry into the Hollywood comics industrial complex. And moving on, we have the next review, which is by IndieWire. Todd Phillips' Joker is unquestionably the boldest reinvention of the superhero cinema since The Dark Knight, a true original that's sure to be remembered as one of the most transgressive studio blockbusters of the 21st century. It's also a toxic rallying cry for the self-pitying insults and hyper-familiar origin story that's indebted to tech Taxi Driver and the King of Comedy. That Martin Scorsese probably deserves an executive producer credit. So it's been pretty positive so far. You can definitely tell that the Joker origin film is going to be a movie that will make you think, something to debate on. And I can feel that by reading these short reviews, but not everyone is happy with this movie. Now this negative review right here makes me think that there's going to be a split between a lot of people on this movie. And this is what they had to say about their time with the Joker film. A social commentary Joker is pernicious garbage, but besides the wacky pleasures of Phoenix's performance, it also displays some major movie studio core competencies, in a not dissimilar way to what A Star Is Born presented last year. Now if you want to read the rest for yourself, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check that out. But the general idea of all these early reviews for the Joker origin film is that the movie will be a commentary on today's society while having some influences from the DC Comics character Joker, and at the same time giving an origin story for the Joker. Phoenix's performance is Oscar worthy and very fun to watch on screen and one of the best parts of the movie. It's a film that some people will hate and some people won't even be able to watch it with the scenes that they're going to be showing. But honestly, I think I'm going to enjoy this movie a lot. That's just what these early reviews kind of give the vibe off of from what I'm reading. But what do you think about these early Joker origin film reviews? Tell me in the comment section below and tell me if you're interested in DC Comics Elseworld movies. If you want more of my videos, make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you click that notification bell too so you know when I upload. Thanks for watching my video and have a good one.